double drop. Nothing but sand free flavored fish bites. Two of them. Oh, let me see. There you go. Awesome. All right, so I made it back home. I want to do a quick little video of my cooler and what, what I think most people should do with their coolers. I think it's cool. Dad joke. Hashtag dad joke. Anyway, okay, now that we're flipped out, we're flipped out, we're flipped around. So I go to the beach with ice in the form of water bottles. I fill up water bottles full of ice. They eventually turn to water, so you have something to drink. Keeps it really cold. Nice deal. Okay, so anyway, about three big, three big ones in there. Okay. Also, we have shopping bags. Now, I put the fish in my shopping bags so that I don't have all this goo from fish all over my cooler. So here we go. Look at that. And you're going to the fish market anyway. It's basically the beach is the fish market. And, you know, it keeps it... Keeps it nice and uh, non-slimy. And that, that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you. Well, here we go. Let's see what we got on this thing. That's a good thir 13 and a half almost. Anyway, we're going to do... Uh, we're going to cut this guy up. I'll show you how to do it. First, I start on this side. I lift the uh, lift little fin right here. Get inside there. We'll see, see if you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Simple enough. Just come straight down. About to there, right to the backbone. It stops. Let's make a little incision. Follow it all the way down. Guide it all the way down. Make sure you stay on top of the spine. Go straight up. We'll come back. You should be able to hear clicking from uh, hitting all the fish bones. See? I'm not the best at this, clearly, but this is how I do it until I learn how to do it better. But um, none of this stuff goes to waste. Uh, I have a planted a uh, tree in the backyard and I put um, all the carcasses, I bury them underneath my orange tree and it's like super green. But here we go. Come right here, get a pinch. Pull and just glide it right off. Slide the meat right off. Boom. Discard. And there's something that's whining for me. Okay. And there are pin bones in it, so I'm going to have to get those pin bones out. So I come right here along the middle. Just feel for them. Yeah. They're in there. Just got to get rid of them. Unfortunately, like I said, none of it goes to waste. We put it right in my, right in my bag. Yeah, not the best job in the world, but it gets it done. Try this one a little faster. I'm trying to get most of the meat, you know. I go fishing with those uh, those fish heads. I take um, Red Drum, love whiting fish heads. So you can actually just throw it on a hook. Go Carolina rig out there in the ocean. It's perfect. Mm. Okay, now that we have our whiting fillets, very cool. I'm gonna pat them dry. First, we're gonna pat them dry. Let's get them nice and dry. So just lay them out on the plate. Get some of these. And now, I like spicy. Okay, so this is uh, Cajun crispy fish fry, Louisiana style. Let's go ahead and pour this right in the bowl there. And then all you do is very simple. Here, just, just coating it simply. Ooh. All right. To the air fryer. 
Yes, that's right. I'm going to air fry. Woo, that's kind of dirty, but it's okay. Just gonna lay them out. Best as I can do it. I'm trying to be a little healthier, you know, do the air fry instead of actually frying it in oil. And, and we'll see how it comes out. I've never done this before, but I've air fried lots of things and it all comes out amazing. So it's already pre-oiled. So you want to like spray just a little bit of oil down, not too much, you know, just to make it not stick or whatever. Here we go. Now, my air fryer setting, um, we got bake, which I'm going to do. So bake, um, I'm going to keep it down. Let's see what temperature I should do this at. I'm going to say 275. Sounds good to me. And then we're just going to start. It's on two minutes, but I want to go for five minutes tops. And then once, once that's done, we'll see how it looks. Sorry, also, I use paper plates to do this because when I'm done with this batter, if there's a lot left over, I just fold the paper plate, stick it back in just like that. I don't like to waste anything, you know? I mean, I cook fish almost every day, so it's probably good. Well, and you're done. While that's cooking, I'm thinking about doing a sauce. I kind of like want a sauce with it. So, I, this is my own recipe. I'll take a spoon. Hello. All right. One, two, three. That's it. Take the spicy brown mustard. Always shake your mustard up first, folks. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Dillweed, sprinkle it. That's about enough. At your leisure. This is really spicy. I don't know if you guys like it, but I like spice. And some people use this, they'll use ketchup, whatever. But I'm just using one, two, three. Simple. I'm using the same bowl because I don't like to dirty that many dishes either. So, all right. Mix it up. If you want to get nice and fancy, you put it in a little dish. Why not? Yay! Get the applause. There you go. You have even cut up some lemons because I like lemon on fish. It is delicious. I'm using the same plate. All right, here's people. Let's see where we're at. Okay, looking good. I'm gonna test it real quick because I think I'm gonna flip it, do it again. Oh yeah. Look at that. Can you see? The white flaky. This is five minutes. All right, let me see here. guys now that's freaking good perfect the only thing I would do different is just add a little lemon to it in my sauce well that's it presentation is not so great but I'm the one eating it so I don't care there's a little lemon on there let's try the sauce Way to go. Hey guys, thanks a lot uh, for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, I've got more videos to come. Uh, it's going to be fun. we got a lot, lot more to do. The water's warming up finally, so I'm pretty sure we're about to catch some pompano. We're going to get some redfish. We're going to get whatever else wants to get on the hook. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, keep it reeling, and we'll see you next time.